now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of what Indians are all about. I still say we Indian people are believers in the truth. This is the way of life that was given to your people. You're born an Indian, you're going to die an Indian. Indianness is a good life. You're facing an Indian this afternoon. Saturday afternoon out there, everyone. I'm Jason Salzman. And I'm Neely Soodle. And you're watching your number one source for Native American television news. Native News Today. Right here in your living room, Neely and I. So glad to be with you, as always. Saturdays here on the Tulsa CW Network. And we feel like we've got a great show. You know, we always feel like we've got a great show. But definitely this week. There's there's lots of go, uh, going on out there. Mm -hmm. Tons to talk about. Some things That's to right. get to. Yeah. We're always so busy mm -hmm. with all the goings on yeah. here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we excited to bring the news to you yeah we've got you know the pink party the mm -hmm. 12th year of that um john bates you actually had a chance uh, a, right. a citizen of ours uh, a very very uh big time award yeah, award very that we're going to talk about a little mm -hmm. later yeah, so yeah. you don't want to miss that yeah and you got a chance to talk to his family too so That's it was really right. really mm -hmm. neat really well-rounded story a chance to to know about this young man and so that's coming up a little bit later on in the program and uh, as we said to the pink party we'll go to that we'll talk to a breast cancer survivor actually so cool and mm -hmm. you know neely i don't know about you but but, but definitely me and, and probably you too just because of the uh, unfortunately the prevalence of it mm -hmm. but I think we've all been touched by this disease in, in one way or another we, have, oh, yes. we know someone we're mm -hmm. related to someone yeah that's right and uh, you know my mother was uh, uh, she's a survivor too oh, wow. so like you said that we're all touched and you know yeah. somehow with a story someone in their family mm -hmm. friends someone close to them you know has yeah. you know gone through this yeah and it, it is it's one of those things where mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately that's the case you mm -hmm. know e either either by relation or mm -hmm. you just know them or whatever or a story but but the Muskogee Creek Nation Division of Health uh, for 12 years now has been having this huge event and, and it's really something that brings awareness mm -hmm. brings information in stories survivors um, to where they can share and talk with others it's really a neat deal and, and we were glad to be over there again and, and talk with them on, on that and some some things to pass along out there too mm -hmm. uh, some big things coming up November 6th the ac actual education and career Expo. That's right. You can go and get mm -hmm. all kinds of information of what you know, what you can do as mm -hmm. far as a career goes, and not only that, just see what Muskogee Creek Nation has to offer in a way of jobs and education. Yeah, and it's a great mm -hmm. place for it. So it's, it's right there, all in one, a little one-stop shop for That's people right. with education and career aspects, um, and adults seeking employment, education, training, all there. November 6th, 1 to 4 at the Beggs Dome in Beggs, Oklahoma. Nice uh, Muskogee Creek community there. And uh, you can meet with college and tech representatives. Mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of opportunities out there. And I think, actually, uh, the uh, member of the Tulsa Shock, Cherokee citizen, oh. Angel Goodrich, is going to be there, too. Is that what you were telling me? Yeah, they're going to be, or she is going to be mm -hmm. there during the first portion okay. of that. And that's just for the youth that are uh, going to be in attendance. And right. then they have an after and in the afternoon they'll have an adult session so yeah, yeah and that's the j-o-m portion of it yeah. so I, yeah. You know, we, we, we like to have a good time, so we'll probably go to the youth portion. Oh, yeah. We'll probably get out of there when the adult <laughs> stuff starts happening. Right? We don't want to take ourselves stuff. too serious. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, it's it's going to be a great event. Like I said, there's going to be all kinds of people there. It's a great opportunity uh, for citizens to really take advantage of in, in bags, as I said, very, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a community right here in our backyard. That's so. right, and we also want to push, you know, our own College of Muskogee yes. Nation. Yeah, yes. and they will have representatives there. Absolutely. They'll have representatives, OSUIT, uh, Green Country, you know, all kinds of mm -hmm. local local places and, and things that people are familiar with around here. So uh, that's going to be a great thing. Do not forget November 6th. Uh, I believe that's next Thursday or Wednesday. I don't know, Thursday, I think. I don't know. But <laughs> November 6th, look at your own calendar. Yes, Thursday. Don't take it from us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Thursday because Tuesday is election day. There you day. go. Okay, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And mm -hmm. that's another thing. I'm mm -hmm. glad you segue into that. We've got some political candidates out there that are Muskogee Creek. That's right. Right. We have Pandy Moore Ramirez, mm -hmm. we're district judge of uh, Oak Mogi right, right here, here in town. and also Salina Dornan, mm -hmm. who's also running for Senate 
for District 8. Mm -hmm. so yeah, and that's my hometown places. district, you know, and, yeah. and Salina's actually from my hometown, too. Mm -hmm. So she's been on the program, and, and that was great to be able to get her some exposure. I like to think that her uh, being on Native News Today right before the primary had something to do with her winning. I think it might have done. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and say that. Yeah, <laughs> in the, that'll be in the trivia uh, portion of the yeah, show. Yeah, I'm put sure that she appreciated it. Oh, you yeah, know. absolutely. Yeah. We love having on Celine, and she's been a great public servant, not only uh, with the city of Eufaula, but mm -hmm. also the Muskogee Creek Nation. Served as a national council uh -huh. representative and, and doing great things now, hoping to get that state senate seat. And actually talking about Pandy, you know, Pandy's got a chance here uh, to be the first Creek citizen to ever sit on a district judge bench in Omogi County. And when you talk about Omogi County and this community, you're talking mm -hmm. about the capital of the Muskogee Creek Nation. That's something that would be very, very great to see, is see one of our own, uh -huh. our citizen, sitting on the district court ju uh, judge bench. So lots of stuff coming on, and we'll actually uh -huh. have Pandy on the program a little bit later on. So. Oh, great. Yeah. And, of course, we can't tell you how to vote, just to encourage yeah, you yeah. to vote and get out and vote yes. next Tuesday. Yes, I know who I'm going to be voting for, but <laughs> we can't tell you to vote. Yeah, you're exactly right. But, but definitely it's going to be a, a great day. Um, I mean, we just want to see the numbers up. Mm -hmm. We just want to see everybody out there get excited about their local governments, their local That's communities, right. and, and things like that. So let's all get out to the polls. Let's all go vote, uh, no matter who you're putting down for your uh, the mm -hmm. name. And so uh, that's November 4th coming up this next week, and definitely want to share a lot of information about that. So we've got all of that to get to and much, much more. So you don't want to go anywhere. This is Native News Today. We're going to take our first commercial break. We'll be right back with the rest of the show. For more information about Muskogee language preservation, please call us at 918-732-7724. I'm Principal Chief George Tiger of the Muskogee Creek Nation with my good friend, Anthony Phillips. As a consensus All-American, an academic All-American, and a national champion at the University of Oklahoma, Anthony knows the importance of balancing the athletic and academic arenas. That's right, Chief. Statistics show that student athletes are more goal-oriented and are higher achievers in school. Success requires a balanced approach and plenty of support. The Muskogee Creek Nation supports our student athletes. Hey, I'm Principal Chief George Tiger here with Dr. Wayne Johnson, Secretary of Education and Training. You are invited to attend the second annual Muskogee Creek Nation Annual Education and Career Expo at Beggs High School on Thursday, November 6th. The public is encouraged to come and meet with higher ed representatives, learn about employment opportunities, and connect with community resources. This event is a collaboration of the Muskogee Creek Nation Department of Education, College of the Muskogee Nation, the Human Resources Department, and the Muskogee Nation Business Enterprise. Looking for your next 18-hole adventure? Then take a look at Fountainhead Creek Golf Club. Nestled in the beautiful confines of Lake Eufaula State Park, large sloping greens and well-placed bunkers characterize the Muskogee Creek Nation's Floyd Farley design course and offers a fine test of skill for any golfer. Stay up on all the latest gear and equipment with a visit to our pro shop. Have lunch at the turn at the Clubhouse Grill. We're waiting to accommodate you at Fountainhead Creek. Give us a call at 918-689-3209 or visit fountainheadgolf.com to book your next round. Fountainhead Creek Golf Club, close to home, far from ordinary. We believe if you teach a man to fish, you can feed him for a lifetime. We believe that transitioning convicted citizens back into our communities enhances public safety. We believe that every citizen, even ex-prisoners, are important and are capable of change. We believe in reclaiming our citizens and investing them back into a culture that embraces healing and restoration. We believe in reintegration. I pledge to embrace and educate offenders in an effort to stop their abuse. I pledge to all women to love them, protect them, and teach them that violence does not belong in our communities and is not our tradition. I pledge to take full responsibility for myself and the women and children of the Muskogee Nation. I pledge to work courageously and audibly to fulfill this pledge for the rest of my life. And welcome back to Native News Today. I'm Neely Soodle alongside Jason Salzman. 
It was a beautiful day and to celebrate breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. We had the 12th annual pink party there at the Dome mm -hmm. and uh, quite a turnout there. And, and lots of people. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of people. Mm -hmm. And we always have a good turnout yes. because it's such a, a big uh, a big cause here yeah. and you were there covering it and yes. just lots of stories, lots of stories of hope there. Right, absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's a great w way to put it mm -hmm. is hope because there, you know, even though those that are battling the disease mm -hmm. and are in the midst of that battle, you can kind of see them light up and mm -hmm. being in that atmosphere, looking around at people that are going through the same things that they're going through. They're having to fight that same battle. It's, it's a little bit of a support group. It's a yes. giant support group, actually. But it's so neat and so wonderful that the Muscogee Creek Nation can be able to put this on and, and be able to say, hey, for 12 years now, we've been doing a fantastic job with this event. And I think another thing that, that we look at when we go to the pink party is the fact that there's a bunch of balloons, but there's also a bunch of sashes. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing people surviving the disease. Unfortunately, yes, we will see people succumb to, to cancer. It, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's winning right now. It's mm -hmm. beating a lot of people. You know, but I think if we keep at it and keep things like the awareness going and all of our pink party um, initiatives and things like that, the Division of Health is doing a fantastic job. So there's, as you said, mm -hmm. so many people there. And what was neat about it, too, I thought this year, was the fact that in other years, you know, people have had to go to different communities. Uh -huh. We've had to have it at different facilities. Now, with our wonderful multi mm -hmm. uh, multicultural, <laughs> it's just one culture, but, um, a multi-purpose facility uh -huh. over there, the Muskogee Dome, everybody got the chance to come to the capital That's city, right. to our complex, and for the 12th Annual Pink Party, what a fantastic event, and I talked to a survivor, great. I'm here with Phyllis Tattershow. She is a breast cancer survivor, having a great time here at the Pink Party. And Phyllis, thank you so much for stopping uh, and visiting with us and maybe, you know, just talking a little bit about what's it like to be here today, seeing the tribe really make this a huge event. It's great. I just love it here. This is about the third time I've been here, and I really do love it and appreciate the Creek Tribe doing this for us. Well, you know, what, what does it do for, for you to, to be a survivor and to be able to talk to other ladies that have been in the same boat, maybe other ladies that are now going through that fight? Uh, for you, it's got to be probably uplifting and a little bit uh, an opportunity to talk to them and help them out too. Yes, sir. I've been a survivor for 13 years, and it seems like every single person is, has a different uh, challenge, and it's great to be able to talk to other ladies that have gone through this. and. Oh, but we do appreciate everything from everybody. Absolutely. It's going to be a great day. Lots of people on hand. Uh, lots of things, information out there, too. Mm -hmm. um, and that's probably a big thing with you, too, yes. probably in your life now. You probably go around and, and like to spread as much information as you can. Yes, I do. And I think I probably talk too much because when I start talking to a survivor, it just, like, keeps going on and on. You right. know? <laughs> talk too much. I think I've been accused of that a time or two myself. Well, Phyllis, thank you so much for stopping thank with you. us. It's very good to see you today, you. and I'm so glad that you're a survivor. Thank you very much. Right. My dough. Okay, and a fantastic time at the Peak Party as always, and we want to segue now into our next feature, and that's something that you actually got a chance to go cover, and really John Bates doing absolutely great work at the University of Oklahoma in the military, Great Creek citizen, mm -hmm. and I know you had a, a ball going and uh, covering the story. That's right. I mean, the list just goes on for this young man, and I he was one of the first uh, citizens that I met here telling mm -hmm. me his story, his grandmother yep. who works you know, there in the chief's office. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, she told me about this extraordinary young man. And, mm -hmm. you know, he has been all, you know, everything. Yeah. You know, he's been an athlete. I mean, he's no stranger to the news. No, and so. he's been across the, the world, too. Mm he's -hmm. been over to Australia with his athletic achievements. Uh, and that's right. And Hawaii, I think. I mean, he's been everywhere. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, we didn't even have to really go <laughs> far to find yeah. footage with this young man because mm -hmm. we've covered him so much in the past, yeah. so yeah. a lot of things there. John Bates and the Commandant Trophy. Only five other Muscogee Creek citizens before him have had this coveted award. Lance Corporal John Bates is now the sixth Creek citizen to earn the Commandant's Trophy, and that's not an easy task for anyone by any means. It's based on your GPA, so whoever has the highest academic, physical fitness, and leadership score, that's who is uh, picked to be the number one candidate. 
In a quaint outside reception on the campus of the University of Oklahoma, Lance Corporal Bates accepted the award presented by Brigadier General Tracy King, the commanding general of the 3rd Marine Logistics Group. He flew in from Afghanistan just for this occasion. Lance Corporal Bates is a sophomore at OU studying communications. Only one Marine a year is given this honor. He was picked as the number one Marine officer out of 250 at this summer's Officer Candidate School in Quintico, Virginia. A uh, big thing about uh, leadership at OCS is selflessness and being able to help those even though you need help yourself. And so when I was at OCS, I made it a point to try to be as selfless as I could and help those even when I knew I needed help myself. His mother Kimberly and family say this is just the latest of all his achievements in his young life. He is also an outstanding athlete, but his strength is his leadership skills. He just exceeds everything he always has, and I just, you know, I, of course, you know, I want him to go above and beyond. I want him to become a general. I want him to be the best officer that he can be, represent Creek Nation, just be an example to the younger generation to follow in his footsteps because, I mean, I want them to all see that he did this, they can do this too. The Commandant's Award is earned by our nation's elite students and future leaders of the Marines. Another goal reached for this young man, but Bates says it's just a start. I stay motivated. Um, whenever, you, whenever you have plans to do something, go out and do it because it's not going to wait for you. You have to go out there and take charge of your own life. And I want to say congratulations again to that young man, Lance Corporal yes. John Bates. What an awesome story and what an awesome job he's been doing, making Creek Nation proud. Very much so. And another thing that we are proud of mm -hmm. is this Council Oak ceremony, yes. like the beginning of Tulsa, all started right there. And you were there too. You got it. I was. It was a great ceremony. Always an emotional day, you know, always great to... Uh, look back and remember the impetus of Tulsa, where it started, and really, um, you know, with all those uh, Mikos there and people representing our ceremonial mm -hmm. grounds, it's so great to see that those fires are still going, that our culture, that traditional side of the culture is so very vital and still thriving in today's time. You know, you think about those ways, they're ancient ways. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're the very beginning of when Muskogee Creek people started living the way that they wanted to live. So to have that now, still in 2014, is, is quite a thing. And it's wonderful to be at the Council Oak Ceremony always. It's a special treat to be able to cover it. We're here today at the Council Oak Park in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's our commemorative ceremony to the Council Oak Tree. And, you know, as, as we all know in the Muskogee Creek culture that our the ceremony of fire ashes was carried here amongst the removal on the Trail of Tears. So it's an honor for us in tourism and recreation to be given the task to actually plan and, and kick this ceremony off and invite all the cultural or the ceremonial grounds out to this particular event. And I mean, it's a great way to show the community and the world what we actually do and what we're celebrating today. For us, it's a great thing to actually be able to educate people. You know, we do a lot of promotions and event planning for our for our great nation and, and for us to actually educate everyone because not everyone knows how the city of Tulsa became to be what it is today and you know we can actually say that the Muskogee Creek Nation is the foundation for this beautiful city. And I had an opportunity to actually go over to Europe with Mayor Bartlett and the Tulsa Chamber and was able to really use that time to you know, educate them more about the Council Oak Ceremony and, you know, not all of them came out today, but they know that it, what happens here and what our group actually does for the tribe. And, you know, today just seeing Mayor Bartlett here was, was spectacular to see him and, and Chief Tiger, you know, talk about the, the Council Oak and what it means to the city of Tulsa. And what a beautiful day it was to celebrate at mm -hmm. Council Oak last Saturday. Such mm -hmm. a great event. It was. It was. So many great people there. And, you know, an, another great person that I know out there that's got a okay. big week ahead of them, Miss mm -hmm. Pandy Moore Ramirez. You know, she is a Creek citizen that's trying to become the first Creek citizen to be the Associate, Dis Associate District Judge here in Altmulgee. And what's great about it, too, is Pandy, you know, she grew up in Morris, 
went to Morris High School and, and knows the area. She knows the people around here. She And, and anytime that's the case, I think that person not necessarily has um, more of an advantage or anything, mm -hmm. but they have a vested interest in the community. You know, they know what this community needs more so than lots of people. And so she looks at things from that perspective and really uh, has a great head on her shoulders, has been successful in anything she's done, mm -hmm. actually got an award for being uh, you know, an assistant DA here in Alt Mulgee too. So Pandy Moore Ramirez going for the Associate District Judge. My name is Pandy Moore Ramirez. My travel town is Casita and I am Bear Clan. And whenever I graduated from the University of Tulsa College of Law, I came down and was practicing with my dad and my granddad at the Moore Law Firm, um, and then went on to practice with the um, Oklahoma Indigent Defense System as a public defender here in Okmulgee and Okfusky counties. Um, and then I came to work with the District Attorney's Office in 2007, um, handling uh, criminal and deprived and juvenile cases and the child support enforcement. Um, in the last eight years, I practice exclusively with the juvenile court here in Okmulgee and also with the child support enforcement. And when Judge Woodliff decided he was going to retire to go spend time with his grandkids, I decided um, I would try to step up and uh, handle the juvenile docket with the associate district judge's position. As a judicial uh, person, I would like to see somebody who's been here in the community. I've grown up here in Okmulgee. My family has always been here in Okmulgee. Um, since my great-great-grandfather uh, was removed here from Alabama, we've been here in Okmulgee County, um, and I feel like it is my duty to come in, um, and as a Muscogee Creek citizen, uh, this position handles full blood, full blood probates, full blood land exchanges, um, adoptions, the Indian Child Welfare Act, and it's important to have um, a local person handling those cases that's going to see our kids and our elderly people here as well as our native people and be sure that they're sensitive to those topics. I'm really looking forward to um, helping the families that are here in Okmulgee County and the struggles and the difficulties that they have and reuniting them with their children. Also, adoptions are also very fun to do, um, get them with a permanent family and see that uh, through to the end. So those are things I'm excited about doing. I also want to be sure we're streamlining things as quickly as possible because when we have kids who are in foster care or uh, elderly adults that are in some sort of a jeopardy, we need to be sure that they're in for the court as quickly as possible so we uh, resolve those issues timely for them. And there has never been a Muscogee Creek Nation citizen seated as a district judge in Okmulgee County which is the capital city and I think it's time to have that happen. November 4th is the general election and that's where my name will be on the ballot and I'd ask that all the citizens get out and vote and support a local native uh, Muscogee Creek citizen. And we want to encourage everyone once again to get out and vote. We have two yes. Creek citizens that are running district judge and Senate race district 8. So yes. Two Creek citizens there, get out and vote for your candidate. Absolutely, yes. And I think mm -hmm. that it's a great thing to vote. It's a great uh, exercise that we as humans uh, have the right to. And so if we got the right to something, we should probably do it. And I think <laughs> it's a great thing to be able to to take part in our governments like that. You know, it's having a voice. So I um, wanted to also... Mm -hmm. uh, throw out some great information here, some really uh, needed information. The Muscogee Creek Nation Higher Education Scholarship Foundation program is now accepting scholarship applications for the spring semester. So uh, if you want to get in your application, uh, the deadline is December 1st. You've got a month to do that. So uh, want to know where you can find them? CreekNationFoundation.org or you can call 732-7754. Scholarships that range mm -hmm. from Five to uh, five hundred to a thousand dollars. Great program. We've done a lot of things with them here on the show. So December first is the deadline. You got about a month. So everybody That's out right. there, definitely get out and there. And you have to be yeah. a Creek citizen yes. for that. Yeah, to yeah. be uh, a part of that. 
Also, this is the same scholarship foundation that we just had the Hall of Fame mm -hmm. Kayla yeah. fundraiser for. So it all ties in. Yes, it all it ties does. in. It's a great program, and like I said, Dr. Koser, his staff, mm -hmm. uh, they do a f fantastic job. We had them on just about a month ago too with their golf tournament. So they're doing things to raise money and and show and strengthen our sovereignty uh, found uh, foundation. Doing a great job. It's doing exactly what they wanted it to do. So. Exactly, and we want to make sure that mm -hmm. they take advantage of those. Money money's out, out there. Yeah, you got yes. it. Yeah, they're there. Why not uh, use them to higher education? People going back to school that thought, hey, I'm too old to go back to school. You can do it. And, and this is here to help. So with all that being said, we love it when you catch us here on the mm -hmm. CW. But Neely, I, love, I know a lot of people are going to our YouTube channel checking us out. Too. I know. I'm getting a lot of uh, comments, mm -hmm. feedback. So thank you. Keep yes. writing us and letting us know. Yeah. What's uh, what's out there? What we want? What you want to hear and see? You got it. And Facebook, Twitter, you know, uh -huh. check us out on there too. And we're leaving you today with a little bit of fun. Studio scares. Some people from around Muskogee Media. You didn't get, get them me in the though. Didn't get you. <laughs> but got a lot of others. You guys, we'll see you next week.